What's going on, riders? As you remember from the last episode of my Transamerica Trail Adventure, after Team Greg and I had reached the Pacific Ocean in Oregon, Scarlett and I rode back to Salt Lake City to pick up my truck and then headed back home to South Florida. However, I wanted to take the scenic route, riding south on the Pacific Highway all the way to Crescent City, California, enjoying the amazing vistas of the Pacific Ocean. Once I got there, I turned eastwards towards Utah, crossing the Redwoods National Forest and the endless miles of the Northern Nevada Desert. Before reaching Salt Lake City, however, I made a quick stop at a place that I dreamed of visiting since I was a kid, the Bonneville Salt Flats. What's going on, fellas? It's fun to be here, guys. Look at this, it's so, it's such an alien landscape, man. It's a pretty smoky day. You don't see anything but smoke. You don't see, there's mountains right there, you barely see them. So it, everything looks white on the ground from the salt and pretty much gray on top from all the smoke. I, I wanted to do this last year when I was here with Oscar and uh, we couldn't do it because it was so rainy. You know, it didn't stop raining for the two days that we were here and after that we got snow. <laughs> Salt Flats are not part of the Transamerica Trail, but we did tour just to come here to see because I've been wanting to see it all my life since I was a kid. And after, you know, coming all the way here, I spent two days here locked in a hotel because we couldn't do squad thanks to the weather and then left without seeing the Salt Flats. So this year I said, this time I'm going and uh, if it doesn't rain, man, hopefully it won't. I'm going to check it out and you know, here I am, man. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's so, it looks so strange to ride in a place like this. There is some cars over there. Apparently, I think that's where they have the gathering. Uh, people are gathering for the speed trials. They just broke the speed record uh, here, but I think it was like a week or two ago, 400 and some miles an hour. Crazy, man, crazy, pretty cool stuff. This thing right in here is, is so smooth. It's very strange. It's, it's very, very smooth. Here is everybody gathered for the races. Oh, look at that classic, man. That's beautiful. Look at these classic bikes, man. A lot of classic motorcycles, man. Super awesome. Look at those things, man. They're designed to race here. That's all. All right, fellas. Here we are in the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah. It's a very surreal place, man. I mean, as, you, as I told you, there's a lot of uh, smoke in the atmosphere because of all the fires, uh, wildfires that are going on uh, all the way from California, Oregon, Utah. There's fire, wildfires everywhere. So you don't see the blue sky. All you see is like a gray, like a dark gray. There's actually mountains right here. But for the most part, I don't see squat. You know, you don't see no mountains. Uh, on a clear day, uh, you should, you know, you'll be able to see the mountains all around us. It makes it even more surreal because it really feels like a complete alien landscape. I mean, you have this white bed of salt that goes as far as I can see. I think it's 33 square miles. And one thing that is very strange is how quiet it is. It's so silent. It is, it's it's kind of spooky. You don't hear anything. Absolutely anything. Pretty, pretty wild, man. Pretty cool stuff. Riding on this thing, it's not pavement. It's not dirt. It's something completely different. It's actually, you get a pretty good grip. I mean, this thing is not as soft, you know? I mean, it's pretty hard so uh, stuff. It's, look at these uh, salt crystals. They're pretty, they're pretty big. And you know I have to try this. You know I have to try this because I'm a curious man, so. Woo! You can make some serious steaks with this stuff. Mmm. Okay. 
really cool place, man. I finally uh, made it to Bonneville. Been wanting to do this for a very long time. This is uh, the soft flats that uh, Oscar and I went to uh, Southern Utah last year during the TAD. They were nice, but they were small. This is endless. I mean, this, this is endless. As far as you can see, there is nothing but salt, but salt flats. And of course, Scarlet, which is just beautiful against this empty landscape. The one thing you have to be sure when you come here, man, is that after you leave uh, the salt flats, you find a place where you can uh, power wash your bike because this salt gets everywhere. Uh, it's very corrosive. And look how thick it is. It really gets, you know, everywhere. You know, everywhere. So let's go for a ride. Guys, it is very, very hot. Very, very hot. You gotta make sure you bring plenty of water and hydrate while you're doing this. And make sure you have a hat when you don't have your hem helmet on. I took my jacket off because it was too hot. But anyway, I'm ready to go for a ride. You guys wanna go for a ride? Should we check it out? Let's go check it out. Yes! Right, guys that was insanely fun these salt flats are you know I could actually stay all day here just riding around these salt flats it's so much fun I mean it's, it's it's addictive you know no wonder they come every year to do uh speed races and speed records here because it's so flat I mean it's it's, it's a very different type of uh, riding I've never uh, ridden on, on an element like this before well I'm we did it last year on those south flats south of here but that was a small salt flat compared to this one this one you go and go and go and you see nothing but salt flats but anyway time is up guys time to say goodbye to the western united states time to go back to salt lake city i'm only 150 miles away pick up the car the trailer and start heading back to florida so it's been fun it's been an experience and most importantly it's been an amazing adventure until next time guys until next time goodbye salt flats right on amigos hey amigos thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on amigos!